What's going on guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today we are into game 8 of our uh, of our career. We are coming up against the Miami Heat, who are I think 7th in the East at the moment. We are topping the charts, we are number 1 in the West. And unfortunately Anthony Davis actually got injured in last games. Uh, I think it was in the 4th quarter. Um, that's kind of the problem with running you know, the superstars in the 4th quarter. Anthony Davis is now injured now. We'll have a look later on and see what the injury is. Um, but I did here on that little radio cutscene in the beginning that's always in the locker room that he's out for extensive amount of time so after the game I'll go over a look at what the injury is LeBron is back as you can see on the screen he was out last game with that injury and you can see on the left we are in the top of the Western Conference just just a little one game in front of uh, the Clippers and Utah and the Warriors so it's a very tight race at the moment in this opening uh, few games of the season but we'll jump into the game hopefully we'll get a good amount of minutes and uh, hopefully we do it just as good as we did last time I think yesterday's game, we got about 61, 63 points. I think it was around there, uh, which was a new career high for us. But we've jumped into the game, and hopefully uh, we can do it just as well. Hey, what a start we got here! Going right over Myers Leonard, our first dunk of the game. He went sliding into the cameraman then. Well, we'll quickly have a look at that. That is a great way to start the game. We are only up, or sorry, we're down by seven points very early into this game. Taking a look at this play again, absolutely hammering it over. Uh, I mean, I think Johnson went for it as well then. I think we've just gone up, slammed it over, and we got quite high then, which was good. Our head's nearly at the ring. Myers Leonard just slides on the floor to the cameraman. All right, here we go. Give us those cookies. Let's go. We're out. D don't stand under the ring again. Don't stand under the ring again! Myers Leonard isn't learning his lesson. We're going off again. You can see down the bottom, 32.8 points per game. Oh, okay. A little baseline reverse dunk then. That was nice. I think Myers Leonard's a bit afraid to jump at the moment. And we've got uh, we've got our subs coming on soon. We're doing kind of a disappointing start. Our starters didn't play that well. I know out of the uh, the five starters, only Danny Green and I think Dwight Howard scored. LeBron hadn't scored yet. And uh, Kuzma hadn't scored. So it's a bit disappointing. But hopefully we can bring this lead back. Oh, we're out. We're gone. We're sprinting away. Don't stand on. Oh, come on. Give us the fair. Give us the yeah, end one. There we go. As my ba oh, my battery is running out of my controller. That's not good. 10 early points here. Make that 11 points there. We convert the end one. And uh, we're only down by a point. Go, Kuzma. There you go. Go upstairs. There we go. The throwdown from Kuzma. We are really going out now. We're up by 11, uh, nearly halfway through the second quarter. Just a lot better show out from these uh, from these boys. We had the bench on, and like the, the Miami Heat bench isn't that strong. I mean, they do have Tyler Hero coming off the bench and uh, wins. Like, is that our foul? Like, okay, that's Boogie's foul as uh, Dion Waiters gets an N1 here. But uh, our bench did a phenomenal uh, kind of holding them. The kind of, it's a great defensive bench, I think. So uh, we're doing all right. Hopefully we can extend this a little bit more. Here we go. LeBron, outlet pass. Don't bother jumping. Don't bother jumping. Give me the foul. Give me the points. And one over Derek Jones Jr. That's his third foul. He'll probably get subbed off here. Early 15. Make that 16 points. Per perfect from the field. Uh, sorry, perfect from the free throw line. Six of seven from the field. We're doing quite well up by 14. Oh, we're out again. Another. Oh, come on. Pick it up. There we go. But over to Dwight Howard. The end. I was going to say the end one then. The alley-oop over to Dwight Howard. We now have our takeover. I may save it for the team takeover. Uh, but now Tyler Harrow's cold. We can try and maybe steal it off him here. Let's try not foul. Oh, I don't think it's going to work. Oh, don't stand out of the ring. Get up on James Johnson there. Slam it over him. Have a look at this replay. He had no chance there. Stuck in the animation and we slammed it all over him. Boy, we're going up again over... Oh, another dunk. We're going pretty well at the moment. This Hall of Fame contact finisher is just like an amazing badge to have. I think I'm working on a relentless finisher now. That's probably going to be my main finishing badge I'll work on, just so I'm able to like hit those contested layups as well, because like, sometimes in the park you get stuck in those animations. But we're playing pretty damn well at the moment. 24 points, and we're up by 20 points nearly at the second, at nearly at half time. Straight through the middle, here we go, doing the Jordan Kilgannon dunk, there we go. 
thrown it behind our head, wrapping around, slammed it in off the assist from LeBron. Look at that, that is perfect. Now, um, I think that video that I did with the Jordan Kilgan dunks is actually doing pretty well. I think it's one of the most watched my career videos that I have, um, I think besides the first one, before besides the creation. Um, but yeah, so thank you guys for watching all that. I, uh, I really appreciate any the, anyone that watches these videos, because I know that like not a lot of people do, but it's it always good to see the, uh, the views kind of gradually stack up. Um, but we're doing pretty well at the moment, 20 points up, and uh, we're nearly into halftime. Thanks very much. Jay, everything falling for you in that first half. How were you able to be so efficient? Hey, really, I, you know, I think it's just all about playing within myself. You know, the flow of the offense. As long as I, you know, let the game come to me and don't force anything, you know, I'll get good looks. And that's been the case tonight. Well, it's all about getting easy and good shots for your teammates, and you've done that so far. Thanks. Guys? Alrighty, here is our halftime stats. 28 points, one rebound, four assists, 60% from the field, and 100% from the free throw line, and a 21 plus minus. Oh, we're out. Good defense from JaVale McGee. Let's just do a two little, oh, we should have dunked it then. We get our 30th point, uh, scoring off the assist there. We get, yeah, so 30 points, uh, which is always good. 20 points in the paint, and uh, we're up by 20, was it, 25 points, uh, just coming in halfway into this third quarter. Here we go, we're out. Oh, we're gonna get sucked, aren't we? No, give me that foul. Oh, should have been a foul then. We get the basket over Tyler Hero there. 32 points. Uh, we're doing quite well at the moment. I know Tyler's only hit one shot, so it's a rookie v rookie kind of showcase here, and Tyler's only hit the one shot. Here we go. We're zooming past them all. Give us that animation. Oh, we get the green light to go, though, over uh, Kelly Olynyk, who is probably my least favorite uh, player in the NBA, if I have to be honest. It just frustrates me, especially after that, like when he was on the Celtics. Uh, but yeah, we're doing all right here. We're coming up against Justice Winslow, who I think it was like 6'6". So he's running point guard at the moment. As you can see here, he's just going to use his height advantage over me. We go, oh, okay. He passes away. So we're doing all right on defense. Now, something I am finding interesting, we do have the star under our name. Um, I don't know. Like, it's usually, typically, I thought in 2K games, you got that if you were an all-star. As we're going to go upstairs here. Oh, that's a flagrant foul, surely. Um, yeah, so we do... Oh, hang on, hang on. Danny Green, injury report. Okay, everyone's getting injured at the moment. I don't know if this is common for everyone. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I thought typically I have the, the dunking um, logo under my name. Um, but I don't know why in, like, the my career I've got... Oh, we missed our first free throw there. Um, I don't know why we've got the all-star logo. I don't, if you guys know why, just tell me down below. But um, yeah, I found that a bit interesting. Hey, here we go. We're out on the fast break. Got the downhill badge reverse, kind of almost a baseline sort of dunk then. Kelly Linick is a slow. He can't contain us. Alrighty, I know that we're going to be subbed off for majority of the uh, of the fourth quarter, if not all the fourth quarter. So I want to get a few more assists here. We'll run the floppy pay for Alex, Alex Caruso, I should say. Oh, we should have shot that. Okay, we'll take it ourselves. Going in, getting the foul. That was a horrible shot choice. Luckily, we get the foul there, and uh, we'll get both these free throws. 40 points there. Now we've got our takeover. Um, I was going to save my takeover last time for the team takeover because we are eligible to do that uh, But ended up losing I think I fouled someone so now we've got 41 points and I will save up for our team takeover Here we go good steal by Caruso. Oh, we're way too fast cocking it back Slamming in with our left hand uh, Caruso got a nice steal then that was good as you can see here cocking it right back head was at the ring um, I did decide to turn on my normal takeover just because we've only got two minutes to go in this third quarter I didn't want to wait and then be put played in the fourth quarter I want to you know let the, uh, let the bench have a bit of a go um, we are on the bench we are the sixth man at the moment but after last game our coach did say we were good enough to um oh get the get the end one there I oh, know we just get the foul um, our coach did say that we were good enough to play, or soon it seemed like we were good enough to start. Uh, so hopefully after this game, showing off a potential 50-point game here, uh, he will, you know, put us on the starting lineup because I don't think Rondo's doing that much at the moment. Hey, here we go. Good steal, JaVale. We're going up again. Throw it down. Oh, little Jordan. Kill the Dank again. That was good. That is two in the one game. That was like that other game, that other episode that we had. Throwing it up other side of the shoulder, cocking it down, that was good. 
That, uh, that guy is unbelievable. I was watching some of his highlights, Jordan Kilgun, and he is phenomenal dunker. Alrighty, guys, we got subbed back in uh, with only like a minute to go in the fourth quarter, which was a bit weird. Uh, as we're going to finish this game off here, our crowd is extremely happy, and uh, I've put up a 49-point performance, which was great, and we win by 33, and we get an achievement along with it. We're getting a lot of accolades. You can see the team is happy at the moment. Jared Dudley was getting some points. He was getting some units off the bench, uh, even though I think he is our 15th man, but uh, we're doing quite well. We'll have a look at these points here. We've got a new attribute upgrade, which is good. I'll go do that in a second. New finishing badge, so we can go upgrade that as well. Shooting, we're close to it, and we get that as well. Another badge that we can put on, and uh, getting close to a playmaking badge, and defensive rebound has passed that halfway point. So Hall of Fame multiplier puts us to 1,400 uh, VC, which is good, and uh, new Nike endorsement. So we'll go check that out. Hopefully, there'll be some cutscenes as well. The 2K Sports Post Game Show. And welcome back to the studio here on 2K Sports. Ernie Johnson with Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith in a moment to speak with our post game guest who's standing by on headset near the locker rooms. What's up, Shaq here? That was one of the best offensive performances I've seen this year. If you can keep it up, I might even give you one of my nicknames. Hey, Shaq, I'm not mad at that. I'm going to try, Shaq, man. Look. I'm going to keep trying to move in, you know what I'm saying? But as far as tonight, I think the key was staying aggressive. Once the ball is in my hands, my teammates always encourage me to attack. It's phenomenal to be with a group of guys that support each other like we do. And now, you know what that does? It helps us level up. Level up? That might be your new nickname. And that's going to do it for tonight. For Kenny. For Shaq. For Kevin Harlan, wherever he is. This is Ernie Johnson saying good night. We'll see you again soon. There. Hey, 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 let me get a picture. Hey, high five. Come on. Good job, guys. Come on. Hey, 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 man. Hey. All right, let me get a picture, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Hey, Jay, I got a media request for you. Radio. Okay. Let's just go over here. All right. Excuse me. Here, go ahead and put these on. Yeah. Yeah, just like that. Oh, hey, yeah, he's here. Jay, you're on. Okay. Jay, welcome to the show. You're on with Hank and the Hornet. How you doing today, buddy? I'm great. Thanks for having me. Awesome. So you're pretty new to this, Jay. I'm just wondering, how do you see yourself fitting in with the team going forward? What, what What's your role going to be? You know, I just want to do whatever coach asks of me. You know, we got some great talent in the locker room, and if we all get on the same page, we can really do some damage and uh, make a spark in this league. So what's been the most surprising thing about being an NBA player? Just how much I was able to learn from my teammates. You know, all these guys are great at what they do, and to be in this environment is, is pretty amazing. So I'm trying to soak up everything like a sponge. Good stuff, Che. Well, I tell you what, we'll let you get back to the locker room, but thank you for joining us. Hey, no problem, bro. Keep it real, broski. Yo, Che. Thanks for making this. What's up, man? No problem. What do you need me to do? You know, I don't actually know. I think you're just going to be running some drills with the kids. Don can tell us more. Oh, yeah. Let's hey, Don. Oh, hey, yeah. What's Levi. up, my man? What's going on? Hey, Don. What's up, bro? Jay? So, look, I'm at your service. Let me know what you want me to do. Yeah, yeah. Just uh, hang on a second. About to do a 1v1 with the camp. Okay. Hey, I need a contest winner. <laughs> All right, there he is. Come on over here, young man. Hey, let me ask you something. Are you ready to go one on one with an NBA star? Yeah? yeah. All right, man. We're going to let you take it out, okay? okay? Good luck. Use your best move. Come on, guys. Let's go. No. All right. That's cool. Yeah. Easy. <laughs> Didn't realize he'd be here. Hey! hey! Nice shot! Don, can I talk to you for a second? Yeah. Can you fill me in on what we're doing here? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Hey, Che, it would yeah. be great if maybe after lunch you could run some drills with the kids, you know, a little ball handling, maybe some shooting, something yeah, like that. Yeah, I can do that. that. Whatever the instructors are doing. Yeah. Right? Sound good? Great. Great. Awesome. I'll be right back. All right, thanks, All right, Don. Thanks. Time's lunch. You know, I don't know. Let me find out for you. Gotcha. I got I'm on it. I'm on All it. Right. All right. You guys ready to get down to business? We got a new contract to hash out. Yeah, I'm ready. Absolutely. All right, let's do it. All right.
Alrighty guys, we've got an offer here from Nike, 4,175 VC for one event, two incentives and a 14% store discount, which is very specific. Um, I could just raise that up a little bit, I might do 425, is that alright? We can make this work, alright, so our incentives, uh, we might do, what should we do, chase down blocks, flushy dunks, uh, we could do N1s, we might do N1s, or we could do fast break scores, we get a lot of fast break scores, we might do flashy dunks and fast break scores, it's because N1s are a lot more determined on the situation, and we get a lot of fast break scores and flashy dunks, so that can be like 30 VC in one play, so we'll do that and uh, see what else the Nike uh, employees will say. Pleasure doing business with you, Don. Levi, the pleasure's all mine. Excited to stay in the Che business. All right, guys, we have six attribute upgrades to do. I'm going to put all six of them on close shot just to get this upgraded a little bit. You can see if I go down, you can see the speed and stamina goes up by one. So we're now still an 89 overall. So I'm assuming the next upgrade uh, kind of position, we will be able to go to a 90 overall. Uh, so we now have a 92 speed, 91 acceleration, 59 strength. We don't really need strength. 84 vertical and a 92 stamina. So it's pretty good at the moment. And our next attribute upgrade, we should be able to get 90 overall. All right, guys, we have one badge upgrade for our shooting. It is our only upgrade, and I will put it on to catch and shoot, I reckon, just because I won't be really pulling up. I won't be really, you know, ISOing a player and pulling up mid-range. If I'm on the park or the pro-am, and I can't, I, the majority of the time, if I shoot a mid-range, which I can still shoot, it will be just off a catch and shoot uh, kind of situation. So I feel like putting the only potential upgrade I have, like the rest of them, I could do like quick draw if I really wanted to but me I don't really have a three point shot at all I have never hit a three point shot on the park or pro-am I can hit them like if I am open I can hit the mid range um, so having catch and shoot kind of you know boosts up percentage a little bit so we'll put on catch and shoot and uh, have that on bronze all right guys we have one badge upgrade for uh, finishing badges and we'll put it on fancy footwork just so I can get those you can see here uh, players get past defenders more efficiently when performing euro cradle hop step spin and half spin gathers so that is important. I will be doing that a lot more in the park now. So if we can get that up to Hall of Fame as well, that would be pretty deadly as well as with the contact finisher. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching this video. You can see here on the endorsement screen, our next contract is only 40k fans away and we get we are featured beats athletes. So that's pretty good. We've got 160,000 fans and we've got a B market ability. I'm not sure how that affects us really. Uh, and we've got 246 in jersey sales. So hopefully that starts to climb a little bit more um, but yeah so hopefully by the next episode we should have this new beach athlete at contract but thank you all for watching i'll see you in the next video peace